Hey guys, it's Chris. From firearms with unique functions to ones that help to set the course of history, join me as I show you 10 of the most rare and unique firearms of all time. Number 10. Duck's Foot Pistol while it may not seem like it at times, guns have very much been like airplanes in terms of their construction attempts over the years. And by that I mean that all sorts of crazy ideas were put into construction to get them off the ground, which can be personified via the duck's foot pistol. This gun was popular back in the 18th and 19th centuries, but had one of the oddest configurations ever in terms of gun functionality. Mainly, instead of a single barrel or a layered barrel like some guns have, this one had four barrels attached to one handle, making it look like a spread out duck's foot, hence the name. And the intent of the gun was very clear. It was meant to be a close range pistol that could help the owner take out large groups of people with one blast. Apparently, it was popular with sailors given the closer quarter nature of the jobs, and it helped deter many a mutiny. However, despite their unique function, and it did work for the record, the problem is that unlike a regular gun, you have to be pointing at multiple targets as you fire all the barrels at once. So if this is a one on one strike, you're going to risk hurting a lot of people people in the immediate area. Number 9. Kroom Lauf Corner Shot In modern times, there's a gun out there known as the Corner Shot. It's a gun that looks like a mix of a shotgun and a pistol, but with the catch that with a simple motion, you can actually move the front part of the gun 90 degrees and shoot around corners with accuracy via a camera and screen system on the gun. While this is very much unique, in World War II, a gun already did this without the fancy gadgetry. This was the German Kroom Lauf also known as the German bent barrel gun. And the point of this weapon was just like the corner shot. Given fighting areas in World War II, a bent barrel gun would help fight enemies without exposing themselves, and certain versions were used on tanks to help kill the pilots. There were many versions of the Krum Lauf, including ones that had 30, 45, 60, and 90 degree bends in their barrels. And if you're curious, they functioned very well. The only drawback was that due to technology at the time, the barrel attachments wouldn't last very long. Still, the idea for the bent barrel carried on, and eventually the corner shot was made, and it's a popular tool for both police forces and military units. Number 8. Wyatt Earp's Colt 45 Revolver Sometimes the true point of rarity is to be tied to a special event, and for Wyatt Earp, his name is legendarily tied to the events of Tombstone, Arizona, where he participated with three other men in the infamous gunfight at the OK Corral. At the time, the weapon of choice for Wyatt Earp was the Colt 45 revolver, one of the most famous guns from the Wild West era. Earp's gun was eventually found and sold at auction for $225,000 which is an impressive amount for a rather common gun in those days. But once again, it's the historical value that needs to be remembered. The OK Corral fight is legend, has been made into multiple movies, been referenced in TV shows like the original Star Trek series, and the name Wyatt Earp has been used and reused and remade into various forms over the years. So his gun may not be rare, but the legend it brings with it most certainly is. Number 7. Apache Revolver Despite what the name suggests, this was not a gun used by the Native Americans in the US. Rather, it was a very popular gun used in France during the 1900s, and is most definitely one of the most unique guns ever made due to its multi-purpose design. Guns themselves are meant to do a single job, mainly shoot a target from a certain distance. They can be outfitted for accuracy, firepower, and reload time, but their main purpose is to shoot. However, the Apache revolver wasn't just a gun. It was also a knife and a set of brass knuckles, thus giving it the name of Swiss Army Knife of Guns. Now, if you're curious as to why someone might want something like this, well, much like a Swiss Army Knife, the Apache revolver folded in upon itself to such an extent that you wouldn't be able to tell it was even a gun at first glance. That made this the perfect up-close and personal weapon. You could hit someone with the brass knuckles to injure, stab, or threaten with a knife, and if your need was great fire at them at close range and no you won't miss. The Apache revolver didn't have the best optics or sights, so its range gun-wise was kind of limited, but the group known as the La Apaches were able to use these guns to great effectiveness. Number 6. Luger 9mm 
World War II was a war that truly helped define the decades to come in terms of technology, and somewhat ironically, it was the Germans who made some of the biggest advancements. The V-2 rocket, for example, helped start the space race, and when it came to the firearms industry, they were the geniuses behind the Luger 9mm. Now, at first glance, you would note that the Luger 9mm has a rather simplistic look to it, and you might think it's not that effective, but it turns out this was one of the most effective firearms in all of World War II. It was a popular trophy item that soldiers who fought the Germans would try and get because they knew their worth. Plus, this was the first effective gun to embrace the 9mm cartridge, which is now one of the most popular ammunitions in the world today. Though there are many Lugers out there, they're often the reproductions and variants that the German Swiss and others made in tribute to the legendary gun. But if you were to find an original from the World War II days, you would have a truly spectacular find. Number 5. Key Guns The idea of smaller is better may seem like a modern concept, but in the 16th century, they were using that principle for their guns in certain ways. One of the most unique ways was the very literal key gun. So who would need a gun shaped like a key? Well, jailers, who as TV and movies have depicted endlessly, are often at the mercy of their inmates during certain periods, such as going into their cells for one reason or another. The key gun was a way to counter that, so that they always had the gun on them whenever they were going to work and didn't have to reach far to get it. But there's a twist on this. Mainly, it wasn't just shaped like a key, it actually was a key, meaning that the same thing that can shoot the inmate could also lock and unlock their cells. The other problem with the key gun was that the trigger was on the handle, which meant you had to be very careful with where and how you handled it, else you'd be shooting yourself quite literally in unfortunate areas. Number 4. Winchester Model 73 there were many guns that helped tame the Wild West, but also ones from that area that are considered some of the best guns ever made, and one of those is the Winchester Rifle. This repeat firing weapon was a favorite of officers and outlaws alike, including Jesse James and his gang. It was accurate, reliable, and able to reload blindingly fast, which wasn't always an option in the Wild West days. The 1873 model, or Winchester Model 73, was one of the most successful versions of the legendary rifle. So much so, it was labeled the gun that won the West, which isn't too far off from the truth. This was also a gun that was made many times over the 50 years of its natural life. Over 770,000 units were made over that time period, which is why it's so rare right now, because over the time they were lost, used, damaged, and more. But if you were to find one in good condition, most gun owners would give you at least $50,000 for it, if not more. Number 3. The Lamat Revolver when it comes to both rarity and uniqueness, the Lamat Revolver is definitely top tier. That's because this very special gun was both a pistol with a large chamber and a shotgun all in one. This was made by a doctor, Jean Lamat, in New Orleans in 1856. He was one doctor who felt it was better to end harm quickly by making sure those who wield his gun could get things done without using a lot of shots. So on top of the revolver, he had a 42 caliber barrel, whereas under that he had a single shotgun barrel. LeMay took it to the army, who weirdly turned it down for being superfluous. Due to that, it's extremely rare, and you can get $20,000 if you're lucky. Number 2. The Turbio Palm Squeezer Pistol If there's one universal fact about guns that just about everyone can agree on, it's that from pistols on up, they're hard to conceal. And during the days of the various wars in Europe, you couldn't just approach a person with a big pistol and not expect to be noticed. Enter the Turbio Palm Squeezer Pistol, the micro pistol that could be held and fired within the palm of your hand with almost no one the wiser except the person you're trying to rob or hurt. Despite being so small, it had a 10-barrel chamber, thus allowing you to fire multiple shots into the target at close range should you need to. This was very popular with the French during the first two world wars, but the problem was that if you didn't have a perfect placement with the gun on your potential victim, you weren't going to kill them, as the bullets were very small. Still in the right hands, it worked rather well. Number 1. Pepperbox Gun Leave it to the United States to go overboard with a gun design so that it would deal maximum firepower while also being completely absurd, hence the creation of the Pepperbox gun. 
This over-the-top gun was able to allow you to shoot six bullets at once, and each barrel had its own bullet chamber for reloading. This gun was basically the equivalent to having a minigun in your hand, while also wielding a miniature gun. So the appeal was there. The problem though was that this gun was heavy due to its multiple chambers and other mechanisms, and due to this it was more popular on vehicles than anything else. Well thanks for watching, what did you think of these rare and unique guns? Which one of these stood out most to you in your eyes? Do you know of any other rare gun that could have been on our list? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on World List.